cool, man. Hell yeah. Bunch of oddballs in here. I feel comfortable. Real comfortable. I, uh, me and my mom used to do cocaine together. But we would never say a word about it. It was like she didn't even notice. I would kick her. Try to get her attention. Until finally the doctor was like, Julie, you're pregnant. <laughs> we both stopped doing cocaine on the same day. So it's pretty cool. I don't know, I think I got just the right amount of cocaine. You know what I mean? Decent IQ, I look alright. Uh, but I have no balls. I have no balls. All that cocaine, you'd think I'd have like eight balls. <laughs> I like telling people I went cold turkey while I was still in the oven. It's supposed to be hot in there. It's fucking hot in here, boy. Ooh, my balls are hot right now. All half of them. My grandma's in a nursing home. Uh, which is basically just like a, geri a geriatric high school. <laughs> and I go over there, I, I buy her weed for her, uh, I fill up her pill box. That's the only box I'm filling in my grandma's. <laughs> the other old ladies are fine. So a lot of those ladies don't get any company. And I think that all old ladies should get a little company. Yeah. Even if it's just for one night. Maybe that's all the time they have. <laughs> oh, fuck me! Oh At somebody's giving these old ladies something. Her back's already broken. <laughs> Big deal. One of these ladies uh, in the nursing home, they came up to me and they're like, I don't know what to do, I keep forgetting. And I was like, I totally relate to that because I've been getting super high recently. And she was like, I don't do weed, I smoke crack. I was like, that is not good. And then she's like, it makes me feel better. Touche. I don't know what to do. I can't tell this seven-year-old woman that she can't smoke crack. So I call my dad. And he's like, was she kidding? I was like, dude, she seemed pretty serious. She's smoking crack. It's a very serious thing. He's like, well, if you think she's smoking crack, look at her lips. Because when you smoke crack, the stem gets hot, and if you don't use a cold rag, it'll burn your lips. I was like, motherfucker, how do you know that? <laughs> he just taught me how to smoke crack and get away with it. He's <laughs> like, don't tell your fucking mother. I, I, now I understand cracked lips. <laughs> Finally makes sense. We got any white people in here, man? What white people are so nice. I hate I hate like people that are in the Aryan nation. Fuck those guys, am I right? Yeah. Always saying white power, white people are the best. You know what white people are the best at? Stealing. I don't understand the stereotype, because we definitely did that shit first. <laughs> I think pronouns are just one more way that white people have been stealing black culture. I mean, have you heard someone using pronouns in like a normal conversation? Their friend walks up, they're like, hey look, there they is. <laughs> it's creative, it's very creative. I don't know. I think a majority, a majority of white people want to be black. And we're making the transition. I don't know if that's good. Um, but I think it's better than transitioning from black to white. You guys know Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> That's why once you go black, you never go back. Because being white is racist. If you're white, you should probably get out of here. Uh, my cousin is having sex with a girl named Dakota. <laughs> Funniest part, his name is also Dakota. It's like, dude, you snort pills. Aren't you already fucking yourself pretty good? Just fucking yourself more. 
the other day. He was like, dude, you're not funny. I was like, seriously? Go fuck yourself. And he was like, you know what? Maybe I will fuck myself. Maybe I'll take Dakota to the border of North and South Dakota in my Dodge Dakota and fuck her with my thumb up both of our asses. <laughs> he just fucked himself so hard. I was like, dude, wow. He's like, yeah, man, with enough patience, with enough practice, maybe one day you can fuck yourself. And I was like, maybe I can. Makes my shoes up. Yep, that's a whole minute about fucking yourself. All right. <laughs> Cool. What else? I wasn't gonna do this one. <laughs> this one. You guys uh, aware of the cockroach problem here in Columbus? There's a massive uptick in cockroaches in Columbus, and they're German cockroaches. So the extermination companies, their stock is through the roof right now. And you know who owns the extermination companies? The Jews. <laughs> They're getting their revenge, one way or another. I got about 40 German cockroaches in my apartment right now. I'm holding hostage. I'm like, come get them, boys. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Somebody told me last night that, that joke was right on the line. <laughs> so I'm still trying to figure that out. Turns all off. All right. <laughs> You guys look like a big Cane's chicken finger crowd, am I wrong? Huh? I'm sure you guys all know about the disco ball in there. No. You guys don't, you guys don't know? Okay. I, uh, I asked the cashier why they had a disco ball. And she was like, well, we hold parties for senior citizens after hours called Raising Cane's. <laughs> Like, holy shit, she's like, yeah, a bunch of lesbians come in here and they give three finger combos underneath the disco ball. <laughs> like, I just prefer the box. <laughs> just the box. No extra fingers. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, really, though. Any more than a quarter inch, that's too much. For me. For me. You know if you have any gay feelings if you get more than a quarter inch. Believe that. Just a little plunge, man. Come on, be honest with yourself, fellas. Be honest. It's not gay if you're just plunging. Alright, I've been telling you all this. Let's get Josh back up here, honey. Huh?